quite a lot of people have read the book all over the world. I found it in a second-hand bookstore underneath Waterloo Bridge. <laughs> Amongst all the classic novels, there was this one book that stood out with a Nigerian name and a very long sort of title. The Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives. It's about a polygamous family. Um, Baba Segi um, and his three wives and there's a new addition he decides to marry a fourth wife and that's where things begin to unravel. People have wanted to see this book on stage for so long. There's always a challenge isn't there about trying to bring something to life that people have read on mm. the page. It is a harrowing story which is redolent with humour. Our approach is to make it very accessible for an all-inclusive British audience. In African life we use music, movement, dance, song and story in almost every life transition. So we start every day with a good workout, we're doing sit-ups, press-ups, cardio going because the show itself is going to take a lot of energy out of them and for the run they need to be able to maintain that. It's just a wonderful experience. The music especially is incredible. Singing Yoruba songs. Yeah, which is amazing. Yoruba is yeah. such an amazing language. It's so sweet, it's so rich. What's wonderful about these musicians is that they really, actually that's their craft. Mm. So they play things like the talking drum, the way it reflects very traditional sounds and also very contemporary sounds as well. We get to see forms that actually bring out the thinking and aesthetics of a particular culture. We're going to bring something really authentic to the Arcola Theatre. For the movement we are using Nigerian moves, um, traditional Yoruba moves, and we are stylizing it for the theatre. It's only natural that African theatre will draw on these aspects that we utilise in our culture, in our everyday lives. The kind of reception it might have here is how bold it is, uh, I think, for a company to take on the views of a Nigerian feminist in such a broad way and to probably tackle all the nuances of it in a very, very sensitive way. Bringing the whole thing to life, I think it's going to be exciting. It's one of those plays you come and you leave loving a handful of things. Whether it's the music, the dancing, the characters. So people will come with their preceptions, but trust me, by the end of the play... That's going to be wiped away. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> The question that we ask when we put on plays is how are we living and how do we want to live? And if you are interested in those questions, then come and see this play and come and support theatre.